let's go to another stock that uh, we chose in the United States. Uh, Candice, uh, you have a, a, a stock that you bought. What is it? So aside from health, another area that interested me was alternative energy. Uh, so I spent a lot of time looking at different energy companies, uh, particularly in, in the field of alternative energies. And one that okay. caught my eye, um, and this one is going to be maybe a little bit more difficult to justify, uh, was one called Nextera. So Nextera is uh, a producer of wind and solar power, uh, serving largely Florida, but also, or historically largely Florida, but also expanding its, uh, its reach beyond uh, just that sunny state. Um, but if I look at their Obermott ranks, um, you know, this is an area, alternative energy, that's probably uh, very expensive right now. So and what I, are chose, the ranks? <laughs> I chose a company okay. with the value rank of one, one. Okay. <laughs> which is about <laughs> as expensive as it gets. Um, and since I bought it, it has gone down. Uh, so maybe this wasn't the best short-term investment opportunity, but uh, hopefully over the long term, uh, you know, the industry will grow and, uh, and they will prove to be a winner. I hope so. Um, but what I did, th what I liked about Nextera, despite the very low value rank, which for me, you know, is an important rank, uh, is that I think that they are doing quite a lot uh, in the area of wind and solar. So aside from their current portfolio, I know that they are investing and really exploring a lot of opportunities beyond what they currently have in their portfolio. They're investing a lot in new infrastructure. They're investing a lot in new technologies, uh, in new projects. Um, so I thought that that was interesting. And that's what you see, I think, in the growth rank of 67. Yeah. yeah. So I think tied back to what you were saying um, in, in a previous video or earlier, that it's hard to find a company that ranks well in both value and growth. It's almost a bit of a trade-off that you have to um, that you have to go for. Uh, so I think here I was driven more by the growth opportunities than by their value uh, ranks. Yeah, it makes sense absolutely. And you know these short-term losses. You know you can't hit the market at the right time. You know, and uh, if you look at the ranks now. Uh, once they have fallen, they're probably not much higher. They may be two or three now. So it doesn't, it doesn't provide you a lot more comfort. I actually had a case, Rolls-Royce, where I invested in Rolls-Royce, which is not the car company. It's been sold to, I think, India. Now, Rolls-Royce is um, an aer, uh, aeroplane, uh, aeroplane engine manufacturer. So they are a lot more in, in, in civil aircraft and in military aircraft. Mm -hmm. And when I bought Rolls-Royce, it was uh, prior to the pandemic. I, I made that video and I got recently a commentary. It's like, you know, bad luck because you lost all your money. That is really true. But what I did is I looked at that again in, in fall and it, I decided the case is still there. Uh, I think uh, European uh, aero, the aero industry in Europe is, is still important and defense is important too. So I bought stock again almost by the same amount as um, I bought originally. Um, and when I looked at that comment, I wanted to look how, how well that actually had done. And it was surprising that, you know, over the last four months, the stock grew by 40 or 50 percent, which basically, you know, canceled out more, most of the losses I had previously. So I think if you have a company like Nextera that you believe in and it happens that it was a bad experience, that doesn't mean it stays a bad experience. You know, I also bought the German uh, nuclear energy company RWE. Uh, somewhere about four years ago and immediately got a, an email from a user saying, oh, I lost so much money on that company. And I had to tell that user, you know, you lost that money, but I'm buying it at a different price. And it's actually one of my best performing stock now, right. stocks now. So I think the, the reasoning that you put into that alternative energy infrastructure, United States, is actually a good reason to invest. I mean, if you look at hot topics, I think both alternative is actually a funny name. It should be called conventional energy and alternative should be fossil fuels, right? Because the sun has always been there, the air too, and uh, the rivers as well. And they've always been used. So these are actually conventional energies. Anyway, it's not the way people talk about this. But I think this is a really hot topic right now, especially since I believe that the infrastructure will be built now to uh, allow for more of the renewable energy. Yes, so this is um, the investment in the United States in um, 
alternative renewable energy infrastructure. Yes. Very good idea. The ranks obviously are bad because uh, a lot of you know there's a lot of growth expectations in this market, which means the stocks are going to reflect the growth expectations and be expensive. That's that's just how it is. Yes. Very good. I like that investment too. Yeah, good decision. Um, I would you know I support that portfolio. <laughs> <laughs> that's good to hear. Thank you.